Now, here on Dailies, when we say we'll take you inside some of the movie's biggest characters, we really mean it. Dailies' Jill Simonian is here with a look inside the nightmare creature that tormented Ripley and takes on the Predator in Alien vs. Predator. That's right, Mike. You know, when it comes to scaring audiences, nobody does it better than the two men who created the alien creature. They recently gave me an exclusive look inside their high-tech studio. Forget about the movie magic technology you've seen on screen. The magic comes from the design of the creature. Even without that technology, Alec and Tom are able to bring an amazing cast of creatures to life. Tom Woodruff and Alec Gillis have kept a watchful eye over their alien creations for over 20 years at Amalgamated Dynamics in Chatsworth, California. Everything here came from the spaceship set of Alien Resurrection, and the producers and Fox were generous with us at the end of the show and allowed us to handpick a certain number of decorative pieces that we were able to transport here and turn into our display room. Besides the Alien movie series, Amalgamated Dynamics has created characters for Spider-Man, Starship Troopers, and even Death Becomes Her. But I gotta tell you, even though these guys are Oscar winners, this place is a little creepy. The life cast itself is all done in a day. It actually have a person in this material for probably a little under an hour. But then all of the steps, the technical and artistic steps afterwards, will take a number of weeks to get to this stage where we're ready to shoot. It looks like she's gonna wake up any second. But finding the materials is always the first order of business. We get them from all different industries, from the dental industry, from the prosthetics, medical industry. Now, on to the aliens. This particular replica <clears throat> is probably in the sixty to eighty thousand dollar range. You are the gentleman who is constantly in this costume for every single movie. Yes. Are you jealous? Uh, I'm not jealous at all because, <laughs> first of all, I wouldn't fit in this costume. But secondly, I get to sit comfortably in a director's chair and puppeteer the face while Tom does all the hard work. And we have joystick boxes, and some of these heads, depending on the complexity of the alien heads, they'll be one to two puppeteers. But they have servo motors that are in the back of the head that connect to cables that pull the lips up, open the jaws. We have some heads, not the ones that Tom wears, but some heads that uh, this tongue comes in and out and strikes to kill its victims. <laughs> Are you able to feel that inside? No, I'm able to hear it, though. It's so loud. My head is inside the neck. Next up in theaters is AVP2, which the guys already wrapped months ago. Because of the story on AVP2, it's a different predator. So we've taken some pains to come up with a different version in having a very detailed, very complete and finished looking creature on set. Well, they're beautiful. I mean, I sort of freaked out when I walked in here, but everything is just done so beautifully. Thank you so much. Thank you. That looks like it's a lot of fun that those guys are having. They do have a lot of fun, but they also work really hard because in the 20 years that they've been in business, they actually have about 40 films on their resume. So if you break it down, two films for each year, that's wow. a ton of hard work. And they've got an Oscar win. Mm -hmm. They do have an Oscar win in 1993 for Death Becomes Her, Best Visual Effects.